about to leave. Already it has begun. She is bringing me. all her packed dorm goodies into the front room. Uh, she's still not done. <laughs> so what are we doing, Skyline? The Last Supper. They, let's not call it that. <laughs> at all <laughs> so since she leaves her school in the morning anybody know where we are y'all probably can't figure that out can ya where did you want to eat PFA. yep so we have reservations at seven I called at five and um, basically the closest reservation I could get earliest reservation I could get was seven this is just too weird a concept for me so we're all on our phones looking at a menu I don't like it. I just don't like Wait, it. Wait, are you getting sushi? Skyla decided she needed to dress up for our little dinner tonight. Does it? She look adorable. I made this necklace, everybody. So, how does it feel? You're gonna, you're going in, and you're a sophomore. And what are your plans for sophomore year? To go to class. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, to sit in my room and do my class? <laughs> oh, yeah. So both of her instructors, because they're only allowed to have two classes this first like quarters. quarters. Yeah, that's right. They broke up their regular semesters into quarters. Just in case they have to send people home, it'd be easier. And both of her instructors have had COVID, so they have to teach from home. So both of her classes are online. Well, they just chose to. I thought they had to. No, they just left it up to every single professor to choose if they wanted to be online or not. But both of your instructors, one of oh, one of them did have it. This smells so good. It's been so long since we've been at P.F. Chang. So, shrimp fried rice for me. Tom over there got Mongolian beef. Oh, the garlic smell is awesome. I had no idea it had green beans. This is That's even good, better. There are eight okay, so they've got two different sushis. And then fried rice. So Lakeland and Skyland are sharing all that. Bon appetit. Deadly sauce. Okay. So basically, not even half the restaurant is sat. Um, like I said, they they've had like 45 minute waits, hour waits. We just had a reservation and only waited like five minutes. Skyland is getting um, instructions from Lakeland about how to hold chopsticks. Lakeland taught himself, I don't know, when you were about 10? He had a weird name. Like 10? When you, I think he was about 10 when he taught himself how to use chopsticks. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> she gave up. I know, I never even try. Like, no way. I tried not too long ago when I was there. So there we go. That's how she's gonna eat it. What did you just realize? I mean, I didn't just realize. It. Well, before you were talking about what she realized is that our driveway is a mutt. Oh, oh, a mutt. She was talking about how she has. Can I have a, a Coke to go, please? Yeah, um, oh, that's it. That a dirt bag? Oh no. Skylon was saying how some families are like, like when I was growing up, my dad only bought Fords. So some families always have the same car brand. But your vehicle is a what? Toyota. And then Tom drives a Ford. So we have a Ford in the vehicle. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again. <laughs> um, and then we have the Mercedes. And then we have my Chevy Suburban. And Langley's is a GMC. GMC. And Lakeland will be getting a Dodge. Dodge. And Andrews is a Mercury. And Caroline's is a Chrysler. So none of the vehicles that sit in our driveway are the Did same brand. Seriously, make a bet. Lakeland make said, it. Tom said, eat that. And Lakeland said, how much will you give me if I eat all of that? This, I the wasabi. I, I ain't going to 20 and all I have got is like a single piece. Tom says he'll give him a dollar if he eats all of it. A dollar. No, it's dead. It, it's not worth a dollar. You get like some of the 
Five for both wasabi balls. Five dollars for both? Nah, it's not worth it either. <laughs> Present situation. We're doing this at night. Two vehicles. Forgot about All right, honey, you ready? Baby, honey, I was born sure. ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that vehicle, it, our vehicle, or her vehicle, is completely full. And Tom is in the Mercedes over there, and he is also full. Like, you can see the hand truck in the front seat there. Well, Scallon's plant fell over. All right, one vehicle was unloaded. We got it unloaded right before it started raining. Had to be the third floor. We still have like four totes in the refrigerator and she's lying down on the floor. This floor's really cold. I understand, that's why dogs do it, but let's go. Chop, chop, chop. You're the athlete, let's go, let's go. I didn't do as well as I did last year, guys, with the vlogging right away. Um, her roommate had already been in the room, so we didn't get to see what how the room was set up at first, but I can explain it to you. These are actually bunk beds, but her roommate's bed was over there. This bed was like this. The two chests were actually in the closet. Um, and, oh crud, where'd she say the desk were? Um, one de oh, one desk was right here on this wall. And I think they had one desk sitting over here. Um, I told the girls, I said, hey, they were gonna move them flat this way. And I said, why don't y'all just like move them and face them together? And then that way y'all will have like a little bit of storage back here. And because they're very social girls, so they'll have a lot of girl, you know, people in their room um, in and out. And this way they have a carpet, it's got a lot of carpet and that everybody can sit like right here. But of course, I know I'm out of breath. I've been coming up three flights of steps, guys. Um, but anyway, we'll give you a, you know, I'll keep checking in with you as we decorate and get everything up. We still haven't got everything up yet. Skyland's got their fridge and like two more, three more Skyland's tips. Skyland's dorm room tip. She learned this her freshman year after her bedding kept sliding off. So tell them what you're doing. I put a rug stopper down so it catches it better before it slides. And what other things can you think of that you learned your freshman year? Little tips? I mean, I put sheet clips on this too. Sheet clips? Yeah. I don't know. And rug runner. Because now the foam pad goes. And we, also, we already Lysoled it, by the way. Help kill germs. Because basically regular twin bed sheets do not fit. Yeah, it doesn't normally fit dorm room beds because they're not like true twin size beds. I was very proud of you last year because you MacGyvered it. I think I put that on my Facebook page. The thing was is that it was really just kind of gross because you could it like suck like sectioned. It made sections on my mattress pad. Hey, can, can I uh, comment here? I'm really proud that this year she found the right tool. Well, this happened at the um, end of last year. End of last year, she said. Oh, How many college girls does it take to screw in a light bulb? Ah! What the heck? These chairs are rollers? Rockers? Tom is putting on her headboard with zip ties. Oh yeah, I I did not just love smelling exfoliants. Tom's making Tom. I mean, Scotland's making Tom smell all his like sh her shampoo and stuff. She's dirty. She's like totally in like the uh, coconut uh, phase. Phase, yeah, yeah. Are those all coconut? 
Yeah. All tropical smells. Okay, this is my hair mask. Do you want to smell her? She's not tropical. Not my favorite. Well, a little bit lady. like uh, bug spray. Bug spray. All right, making progress. The carpet is out. This is something Skyland didn't have last year, and it'll just a little lobby area for these four rooms right here. That could be a good or bad thing if there's like a lot of kids right here and they're trying to sleep or do homework or something. Social distancing. Only one person can sit on the couch at a time. It's really weird because last year, move-in day, people everywhere cars everywhere and you just don't see a lot of people walking around now theirs was staggered like where everybody would move in in like two days this year they staggered like from they had appointed times from like 8 a.m to i don't remember what time it was like six or something and um they would have to sign up for their certain slots to move in so Tom because Frank. of the whole virus thing, um, Skylin and her roommate could not leave and come to dinner with us. So we went to dinner, but she has to bring down some totes um, that she's emptied out and we need to take back with us. So, and we got them some food to go because here is the situation. Like they can't leave to go anywhere to get food. So we had to bring them ah, some food. Here they come. All these empty totes. I consider it a fair trade. Oh, that looks good. All right, so they've made progress while Tom and I were eating. They've hung their exit sign. I thought this was going on the outside door. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we have this. My battery's gonna die. Oh, I won't show personal pictures. So we have a collage of personal pictures over there. This really goes well with your bed. I won't show those personal. Oh, and then the rest of the room is personal pictures, so we're not gonna show those. Taylor has this. What has she got? And she's either, well, actually, that would look really good because it's the same square like as the other picture. I already stated it had to be the third floor. Just had to be the third floor. We are um, at Walmart since Skyland can't leave the room and we're trying to figure out which extension cords that she needs. Uh, two to go through the closet and one for under the bed. You think you got it? Mm -hmm. This is okay. a much simpler trip than the first year yeah, where we got quite good. a lot at Walmart. Try again. I don't want to land on any. <laughs> We've decided since they're in quarantine. Actually, it was Tom's idea. Oh, he did bad. <laughs> um, we're going to get them a ball <laughs> to bounce back and forth in their room. Um, he went for one of the other balls. I'm like, no, the people underneath him will not appreciate that. So we got a quieter ball. Tom had another brilliant idea. Let's get him some Play Doh. Look, we're running out of hands. If you can get, okay. I, bucket. I do have a bucket. I have a dustpan. She needs a dustpan. Okay, we're gonna get Play Doh for them also. This is what we resorted to. Bouncing the ball. You're bouncing a ball. Nice. It's really thrilling. I'm sure it is. Ah! <laughs> That's ironic. Did you see what she did? That's amazing. <laughs> so there was another ball that Tom saw. He had the idea. And I'm like, no, no, no. That'll make too much noise. Something fell for the people below you. And he's like, ooh, here's a lighter one. So show what else you brought for them to play with. Uh, he brought y'all something else to... Yeah, we swept and I was trying to figure out how to... We just picked it up. Hold on, hold on. That's good. He has you something else to play with. This is so exciting. We've been so bored. At one point I was just going like this. I'm like... <laughs> and they're bored. The the uh 
the downfall of being stuck in your room, huh? Also got you decorative lights, Ooh. fall lights. Let's see, be a tour guide. Here's my desk. <laughs> so we have her desk set up. I mean, it's a little more. Urban. Yeah, we have a collage of personal pictures up above, so not showing those. Um, and her bed is all set up, same headboard as last year. My window. All snacks are in that thing. <laughs> yep. New rug. Uh, and keeps the totes here with drawers that she can get into all the time. And all of their, let me go at this angle because personal pictures over here. So both their dressers are set up. And then Taylor's side. Her, so your snacks are down there too, right? In one of them. So her snacks are down there we too. We have snacks in, in here. Yeah. Which we have discovered that these drawers open themselves. Yes. Oh, that's a little creepy. Opens. Apparently this hall is also haunted. Uh-huh, and why do you think the hall is haunted? That's just what we've been told. Oh, what you've been told, okay. And then Taylor's side, the desk. It needs to be organized a bit more also. Well, I didn't show like the top part because you got a personal picture up there. <laughs> and then, so refrigerator, microwave, and TV, a collage of pictures above. And we put up strips here for towels. And then this little nice section when they come in the door. The thermometer. These are a clean mask, and then once we dirty them, they go in there. Oh, that's a good idea. And the hand sanitizer. And like I said, um, thermometer because they have to take their temperature every day. This is the same time they same kind they use at Universal and Disney World, by the way. Normally they get to leave this in the bathroom, but with COVID, they're not allowed to. So she put up a command strip to hold her um, bathroom caddy.